guys, veteran trainer John here, and I'm actually going to be recording my PBL battles post-com. Uh, so if you don't know what it is, PBL is the Professional Battling League. It's a uh, Professional Battlers League, mind you. It's um, a uh, draft league that I've made. It's not for like YouTubers particularly, it's just for people who want to be in a draft league. So. I've created this league, it's kind of got fun rules and uh, slightly different, not like too drastically different. So let's uh, get into this. Today we're battling Master Hero, if you don't remember, I've battled him before on my channel. And we've got Darmanitan, Mimikyu, Vaporeon, Flygon, Murkrow, and Snorlax, and he's got a pretty intimidating team. So we'll see how I fare, so let's play this and get right into it. Ah. Alright, uh, so I'm going to lead with Dark Manitan. It's uh, Scarfed, obviously, it's got huge attack, and I feel like it's the safest lead I have. And he goes out into Rhyperior, I'm like, okay, this thing is probably weakness policy, so I'm not quite going to superpower it. I could, but I'm not going to. Don't want to risk it, don't want to die. So I just U-turn, get some momentum. And I know that he probably can't take a special hit at all. So he's going to go for the Rock Slide. And, um, you know, that does decent damage. Vaporeon isn't physically bulky. I do have Acid Armor on this set. But I decided not to go for it here. Um, and he just swaps and goes into his Rotom Wash. Uh, Rotom Wash presents a problem for my team. Um... So I kind of make a bold play here. Uh, I feel like he's either going to Volt Switch and he's going to do decent damage to me or, you know, he's going to go for Will-O-West predicting a swap. He goes for Toxic uh, predicting a swap and doesn't go for the Volt Switch. And uh, I actually try to go for Toxic, but I miss. And uh, so that's not good. So I, I'm like thinking mind games here. Okay, I missed my Toxic. Toxicing this thing would be huge, and he knows that. So, I'm going to swap expecting an electric attack, expecting him to think I'm just going to try to Toxic again, and I go into Flygon, and um, he does go for the Thunderbolt, and so I got a free swap. I'm going to just go for a Dragon Dance here. This is my one of my Z-Captains, so in the PBL, we each get three uh, Pokemon that can use Z-Moves, but they have to be uh, UU or below. You can't have can't have them be uh, the uh, OU Pokemon on your team. So I get a Dragon Dance up, and I'm pretty confident that my Z Dragon Claw will take it out. And um, so, I mean, yeah, it does. It does. It definitely does. Uh, I was scared to just go for one Dragon Dance and not use my Z move, uh, considering um, Rotom can get pretty bulky defensively. So I, I didn't want to risk that. Felt like <clears throat> immediately regret it because um, I f think that I've been really good to have that against uh, this. <sighs> but alas, it's not meant to be. I'm just gonna go for the earthquake, and it's uh, gonna do decent damage. Uh, and he's gonna be able to take me out probably. So I do make some. Uh, some minor mistakes here. I do go into Murkrow. Uh, this is a scummy Murkrow set. Um, with Mean Look, Toxic, Parish Song, <coughs> and Roost. With Eviolite, of course. So I'm thinking I'm going to just trap this guy in here, and I'm a Parish Song, and I'm going to take this thing out, no problem. He showed foul play. He didn't show anything else. I could Roost up the damage, you know, no big deal. And uh, I see a Thunderbolt, I'm like, crap, okay, well, it's either that or Ice Beam, but then I see how poorly I take it. I'm like, holy crap. I was, I was under the impression I would take that much better. But I don't, so I'm like, okay, well, there's no point roosting, there's no point swapping. I'm going to force him to swap out as soon as I go down, and uh, so I could, you know, set something up, right? So I take, uh, I go down... Uh, so that set didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to, but it's no big deal. 
I should have known that he probably was carrying Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. Uh, as, you know, I've, yeah. So he does a force swap here. <coughs> and he goes into Inte. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can take an attack from Inte. So I go Belly Drum, and I get the plus six, then I eat my berry. Um, the thing is, is like, I have Recycle. See, I should I should be thick, thick fat, but I'm gluttony. So I don't take the Sacred Fire at nearly as well. I think, I think it was Choice Banded, but a plus six return is easily going to be enough to take Entei out. So, you know, it is a trade-off. <clears throat> he does go into Glade here, and I know it's Mega, and I know I can't... I can't take, you know... A drain punch and I can't swap out risking him going for sword stance so I'm like okay well I've got something that can outspeed this thing and take it out no problem <clears throat> so I'm just gonna let Snorlax go down in case he over predicts and goes for sword stance and try to sweep me but he doesn't he just goes for the safe drain punch which is fine and uh, Darmanitan is gonna come back in here He's predicting the Flare Blitz. I'm actually going to go for the U-Turn. It's going to hurt even if he stays in. It won't take him out, but it'll hurt, and I'll be able to sack something else off. So, And U-Turn does decent damage to Rhyperior. <clears throat> it does, you know, it's like a six-hit KO, but everything considering, it's not too terrible. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go for another Scald here. Uh, you know, um, he's gonna swap out. He's gonna bring out Meloetta, and um, I'm assuming this thing's probably a salt vest or you know, bulkier. <coughs> but if it's physical, I just kind of crippled it. So, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm coughing. I've been kind of sick lately. That's why I haven't made new videos. As I've been kind of busy with work school and then I was sick on top of all that so it's just not been a fun week for me <clears throat> so I'm just gonna keep scalding here and he goes for the Z move the Psyche MZ I'm like I can live this I'm like I'm bulky I don't have any special attack investment I don't think I think I'm just pure bulk so I counter myself he's not um, assault vest or anything but that's kind of what I thought because that's kind of the set I see when I see Meloetta and it's the Yasaki MZ, and I barely lived that, and I think I get just enough damage off to ensure I can take it out with uh, Darmanitan. Uh, so I'm not scared of this thing. This thing does not worry me at all. Vaporeon does go down. See, Vaporeon can set up, to see, like, because what... One of the things that I did differently this season was I didn't take all of Smogon's rules, so I kept the Baton Pass rule, but you can only pass one stat and it can't be speed so that <clears throat> is actually an acid armor set that is going to go into Snorlax and then so he could get up his you know set up and crush but it it never quite worked out that way <clears throat> it could have it really could have but um anyways so we've got Mimikyu here and he goes into Rhyperior he's only got a couple of mons left it's Gallade, Rhyperior and Porygon 2 I'll get my free swords in up, <clears throat> and um, I'm pretty confident I can take this guy out next turn, or like in a couple turns. I'm gonna survive no matter what. I have the <clears throat> the sash as well, so disguise gets broken. Not a big deal. Prepare for that, and then I don't want to risk the play rough crit or uh, miss. So I go for the shadow claw, and it has a high crit rate, and I do get the crit. Um, that's not too haxy. I mean, it does have a higher crit rate, and so, you know. Now he's going to go into Porygon 2. This thing is toxic. <clears throat> I'm pretty confident I can uh, handle this thing, you know, unless I get some play rough misses. So I get a low roll on that play rough. It's not a big deal. Um, he can't keep, uh, he can't stall forever. He's toxic, so he will eventually, you know, right now, for example, if he went for a cover... I would be able to take him out because Play Rough is doing decent damage and the Toxic is stacking. So, 
he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt and he's gonna take me out. So it's not a big deal. And um, he's gonna go down to the Toxic. So that leaves <clears throat> Darmanitan and Mega Glade. I'm so sorry about these frame rates, guys, on the uh, game footage. I don't know why it's being so crap right now. Uh, my internet speed is really fast. I'm right by it. I don't know. But I am choice scarfed and I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz. <clears throat> and that is going to be easily enough to take a late out. So I do come off with a W, a 1-0. So, I mean, it's not a bad win at all. Didn't crush the guy. It was a really close battle. But, um, yeah, so great week one. Great start for me. <clears throat> Lots of fun. Real intense battle. Um, I'm gonna have to change some sets up for next week uh, once I figure out who my opponent is but that's gonna be it for this battle again I apologize that the frames were dropping so bad I don't know why that is um, I'm like like I said my internet's fast I'm right by the internet streaming software just has been kind of shit lately <clears throat> which is really unfortunate but um thank you guys for watching this I appreciate it so much Stay tuned for next week's battle. Um, it'll be obviously in a week, but it will be uploaded too. So have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.